and welcome back to my channel black imperial travel it is friday february 16th it's a little after 11 a.m here like 1105 1106 <laughs> in that range here in santander uh we are coming today because i don't know if you know this or if you've been watching my channel for a while but i teach here in spain i'm an english teacher and our schedule is basically every two months we get at least a week off of work <laughs> so this was our week off but normally i do like a whole week trip but i didn't do that this time because honestly the funds were not there and you all keep wanting these videos but nobody's lining the pockets for these videos so if you'd like to donate the line is open <laughs> however i opted to just do a weekend trip so i'm heading to oviedo and oviedo is in asturias i live in the region of cantabria and i believe asturias is the region never east to the west of us Yes, I, I hope that's right. I think it's to the west of us here. So it's not that far, but I've never been to Asturias. I've never been to Oviedo, so it's my first time. I'm going to take the bus per usual. It's not a long ride. It's a two and a half hour bus ride direct from here in Santander to Oviedo. The bus leaves at 11.45 a.m. So I'm about to get my things together. I'm only traveling on a backpack this weekend because I'm only going to be gone for two days. I'll be back on Sunday. So I did not need a big suitcase. I just needed my backpack. I'll be fine. But I'm about to make the walk to the bus stop. The bus stop is like a little over 10 minute walk from my house here um, to make sure I'm early and ready to get on the bus to head to Oviedo and should get there a little after two o'clock. So yeah, it's always nice exploring a new city here in Spain. And that's what we got going on this weekend. So come along, let's go. It's 11.30 right now. I'm here downstairs in the bus station. Um, my bus is supposed to be pulling up at platform 29. Hopefully you can hear me because it's loud down here. But yeah, should be boarding on the bus within like the next 10 minutes. So it's 11.42 a.m. here on the bus. It's hot, <laughs> so I'm definitely about to take my jacket off. But I will see y'all in like two, two and a half hours when I get to Oviedo. So it's literally 2.03 p.m. So we got here earlier than expected which we love um, here at the bus station in Oviedo now. Literally just got here, so about to walk to my hotel. At least it's 60 degrees and sunny. I gotta look up on Google Maps the route, but yeah, I'm just gonna walk because the weather is nice, get myself together, and then head out for lunch, so yeah. The walk from the bus station to my hotel wasn't bad. It was about 15 minutes. And like I do anytime I'm in a new city, I just honestly sit back and enjoy the ride <laughs> or the walk per se. So here is the hotel Soho Boutique. I did book a solo room. However, I didn't know that because I booked a solo room, that meant that I got a twin bed, but that's okay. It was only for two nights. <laughs> the thing I really did enjoy about the hotel was definitely the location and the views. I love the cathedral views. And the room was a good size, as was the bathroom. Everything was clean. I would just say that the finishes in person were a little bit more dated than they appeared to be online. But, you know, for a weekend, it was quite affordable. So I think overall, it was a pretty decent choice. So it's 2.42 now. I've changed clothes. I'm here in the room. I like the hotel. I would just say that they did make it look a little bit more modern and updated online <laughs> than it is in person. But it is clean, so it will do for the weekend. As long as it's clean, that's cool with me. But it is hot in here, and I think it's because it's like 60-something degrees outside. And there's really no, like, there's no AC. It's just heat. So I'm hoping tonight, like, it cools down some. Because the lowest setting on the thermostat is 19. 
the grease celsius and i know that that's hot so that's for the heat I just think nobody anticipated for it to be this hot in the winter time but i love where i'm situated like if you could see the view outside it's so nice it's so cute um i will get to exploring but first lunch so i found a mexican restaurant literally a three minute walk away i don't feel like we have good mexican food in santander i've tried a couple places i didn't like any of them that's my opinion so we're gonna try some mexican food here in oviedo to see if it is better um but yeah Gonna get some food and then hit the town. The Mexican restaurant was situated downtown, very close to my hotel, which also was very close to the cathedral. So the restaurant was quite crowded for lunchtime, so I'm glad I was able to get in with no reservations. Obviously, they have a QR code menu there, but I like the vibe. It definitely reminded me of the Mexican restaurants I'm used to back home in the States. Of course, like I do at every Mexican restaurant I go to, I had to get a margarita. And this was a five euro margarita and this was strong. <laughs> you only needed one, I promise. That margarita was so, so good. And for my entree, I got chilaquiles, which it seems, it's kind of like a taco, but I don't wanna call it a taco because the shell is really like, corn flattened tortilla like if you were to take nacho chips but flatten them together but I ate it like a taco and y'all it was so good I had to show y'all how good it was because I cleared my plate so it's like 3 37 I just finished at the Mexican restaurant since I have lived in Spain which has been since 2022 I have not had good Mexican food in Spain until today so let's just start there that's why I recorded my plate cleared because I cleared my plate and that margarita is speaking to me like the green goblin mask <laughs> like why was that so strong I'm not sure I'm just gonna run to the store to get some water grab my jacket because I was hot so I left my jacket at the room but I just want to grab some water to have for the weekend get my jacket from the room and then head back out on the town so that's the plan Okay, it's 4.15 now, so I'm going to head back out and explore. I got my, I got my liter, I think it's a liter. Liter, 1.5 liter of water. I always like to get that for my room for the weekend. Um, but they did give me a complimentary water at this hotel, so that's nice. But I just always like to have enough, because I do drink a lot of water. <laughs> um, now, like I said, I'm going to head back outside. However, tomorrow at 11 a.m., I do have a free walking tour in the city, and I feel like some of the spots that I have seen or will see when I go outside now, I will see tomorrow, so I'm going to try not to do too much walking around. But I did not mention that Oviedo here in Asturias is known for sidra or cider. So there's a lot of cidrerias, like they're literally, it's called like street of cider. So, you know, I definitely will be hitting that up tonight. <laughs> um, but just gonna do a little bit of walking around, exploring and see where the wind takes me. So I'm here on the street where they're supposed to have the cider and things, but I'm noticing that how they serve the cider, it's like in a bottle. And naturally I'm by myself. So I'm like, I don't know if I want to commit to getting like a whole bottle. I went somewhere, um, that place did seem like it was a bit more expensive though, but I went somewhere and they were saying that it was 15. And I was like, no, I just want to have it like as a little beer. So I don't really know <laughs> how I should go about that, I guess. But this is basically this side and then the other side. All of that is like 
Cider Street or Boulevard of Cider. So, yeah. But I'm looking at a man right now who has his own bottle of cider, so it's clearly not frowned upon <laughs> to drink a whole one by yourself. This cidreria was actually recommended by uh, the bar lady at the bar I was at right before this because all of these bars are here on the same street. And they explained to me that the reason they pour the cider this way is because when you open and close the bottle, a little bit of the cork gets in or like gets in the liquid. So they do that so that you don't get any cork in your drink. But it basically tastes kind of like a sour beer. <laughs> So it's 6.50, almost 7 o'clock. Basically, I finished at the Citeria that I was just at. I'm glad I decided to go to that one because the one I was at earlier quoted me for 15 euro for a bottle of cider. And this one, a bottle of cider, was 350 euro. I hope you can hear me because like the bells are ringing and everything, <laughs> everything like that. But obviously that one was much cheaper. I think as a solo person you can drink a bottle of cider by yourself like don't be scared I feel even though like the bottles are unlabeled I don't feel like the alcohol percentage is that strong <laughs> I feel like you can do it so now I'm just gonna like go back to the room real quick drop my shades off because it's nighttime I don't need my shades and put my tights on since I have ripped pants um, and just keep walking around and seeing where I can drink and you know whatever but just like I said walking around but trying not to overlap with what I'm doing tomorrow for the walking tour so just exploring the city, but not too, too much. Okay, it is basically 8.15 p.m. here now. I'm literally getting in the elevator, heading back out. I was just in the room. I had to charge my phone. I was talking to my mom, <laughs> all of that. Um, so now I'm about to head to a cocktail bar called The Black Bar. It's literally around the corner from here. And then I will head to the seafood spot. I don't have a reservation, but I hope I can get in for dinner tonight. So that's the plan as far as it is right now. So it's 9, 12 p.m. here. I have finished at the Black Bar. Um, I like that bar. It's connected to a hotel here. The bar had a good vibe, very swanky. I did not go in for an espresso martini, but their menu that they had posted outside was older than the one they had inside. So I went in for like a whiskey mule, but they didn't have that. So I said, let me just get <laughs> my standby. So now I'm going to head to the seafood restaurant. I don't have reservations, but I'm hoping I can get in and open at nine. So I'm just hoping that I can get in. So we'll see. So no luck, the seafood place, you did need reservations and their reservations are booked all weekend literally she showed me the book so she wasn't lying literally today saturday sunday all booked i really don't know where to eat y'all because i really don't like spanish food i know that's controversial because i live in spain but i don't like spanish food because it has no flavor which is why i don't eat spanish food because i don't like it so just give me some time to figure out like things just because right now honestly I don't know. This is the third place I have tried. Um, luckily, they were like, you can come sit outside, no problem. Luckily, it's not cold. So I'm just going to, there's a couple of gnats. That's what I was swiping away, obviously, because I'm outside, but at least there's somewhere that I can get something for dinner without a reservation. I didn't know they were so reservation heavy here in Oviedo because I would have made reservations like last week if I knew the problem. But it's fine. At least I'm here um, and I have somewhere to eat for tonight. <laughs> So 
so hopefully you can hear me because it's outside and it's loud but I literally got garlic chicken and this is a bigger plate than I was expecting and it's 10 euro so chicken Ooh. it's a little dry but I taste the garlic you know, overall I'll give it a 7 out of 10 it is 10 42 p.m i am here back at the room now dinner was pretty good it was affordable honestly it was 11 euro for that chicken all that chicken and stuff and that water and i couldn't finish i finished the water but i couldn't finish all of that chicken because i wasn't that hungry but i did want to eat to make sure that i had dinner the only thing that makes me nervous is that that was the third place I went to and they literally had to sit me outside. Um, and I, I didn't mind, like I said, I did not mind because it wasn't that cold. But the issue is tomorrow, Saturday night, like what am I gonna eat for dinner? <laughs> so tonight um, I'm going to try to look online to see if I can, you know, Locked down somewhere for reservation for dinner tomorrow night so I can at least have that. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I've been out since, you know, basically three o'clock. So I think that that's enough. The streets are definitely popping, but in Spain, like the club scene doesn't get lit till like 2 a.m. at minimum. And I'm not going to make it that long. <laughs> I'm not going to make it that long. It's time to shower, put on my pajamas, turn on a little TV, and lay it down. So that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. Hello and good morning from Oviedo. It is Saturday, February 17th. It is like 9.57 a.m., so almost 10 a.m. here. It looks to be like it's going to be a nice sunny day outside, which is exciting. That means I picked a good weekend to travel here. So, as I mentioned yesterday, today is my free walking tour. This walking tour I actually booked with a Spanish company, so this tour will be in Spanish. <laughs> so, I will just record the sites and then, you know, let y'all know what's going on because English is my first language and I know most of my subscribers speak English as well <laughs> so that's what's going on but that is at 11 a.m. before that I'm just gonna run to a cafe really quick and get breakfast the hotel here did offer breakfast but it was like 12 euros a day and to me European breakfast is quite small it's like a croissant maybe some meat maybe some cheese and like a tea so I didn't want to pay that I literally found a cafe Literally right, right, basically <laughs> adjacent to the hotel that I feel like is probably going to be like a five, six year old breakfast. So, you know, try to save some money there. So I'm going to head to breakfast and then the walking tour. Don't know what else is happening for the rest of the day, but... <laughs> Last night, I was scouring the internet, and I did secure a dinner reservation for 9.30 p.m. tonight. So we won't have the same issues we had yesterday trying to find dinner. I do have a reservation someplace tonight. <laughs> so yeah, that's everything we got going on. So obviously, since this is a weekend trip, this is the last full day in Oviedo. So we're definitely going to make the most of it. I realize it's dark where I am, but it's just cause the way the sun is rising, we're opposite it right now, but have just finished breakfast. No, I did not record myself <laughs> eating toast and tea. I felt as though that would be pretty mundane. However, it's like 10.43 p.m. I feel like where my hotel is, it's situated very well because the meeting point is like a three minute walk from where I was at at the cafe. And the cafe is basically like a two minute walk from the hotel so everything is very like centrally located um according to where i'm staying which is nice so i'm just about to make my little walk and just be there a little early at the meeting place for the walking tour at 11. i don't know how long it is i'm assuming like an hour two hours around there i don't know it didn't say it just said it started at 11. so when i find out you'll find out
sun is facing me currently, which I appreciate, but you all can't really see how nice the cathedral is, so I'll have to come back later when it flips so you all can get a sense of it. But here, they have like all these trucks and stuff, so there might be an event tonight here for Carnival. I don't know, but it's 1049, so we should be starting in 10-ish minutes or so. While I had 10 minutes, you know, I was gonna see if I could go in the cathedral, you know, look around. Ciao, it's like eight euro, nine euro. That's high. So, just so y'all know, I won't be going in there. <laughs> Sorry. It was a nice sunny day for our walking tour. So I have a couple of facts about Oviedo for you so that you can learn because obviously the tour I was on was a little over two hours <laughs> and now that i'm doing this voiceover i don't remember half of that information but it's fine we keep moving so oviedo is actually the capital of the region of asturias and that's not something that i knew prior to coming however oviedo is not the largest city in asturias the largest city is on the coast which is Gijón. That's the name of the city. Um, I've never been able to visit Gijón. However, I might visit so that y'all can get a little vlog or whatever. <laughs> but as you can see by everything we've been looking at and getting to explore throughout the city is Oviedo is known for its architecture, specifically how it looks like an old style Spanish city. And that's what I really enjoyed about my visit because I like culture, history, and architecture, as you all know. So with that, I definitely enjoyed my visit to Oviedo. This city was actually founded in the 8th century. So they've had a lot of history, a lot of kings, a lot of monarchs come through the city to try to make their stamp on the city. And they have a lot of different plazas throughout the city and those plazas are basically named after different people or different movements that had occurred throughout history here in Oviedo because Oviedo wasn't always the capital of Asturias but one of the kings wanted to make it so so that's how we have it now additionally if you've heard of the Camino Santiago which is a famous 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 hiking trail all throughout basically northern Spain I've never done it and you won't see me doing it because I'm not a hiking girl <laughs> but the beginning of the Camino starts in Oviedo. So that's another fun historic fact about Oviedo. And part of the Camino as well actually goes through Santander. So I'll see people with hiking backpacks all the time in the city and say, oh, I bet they're doing the Camino. However, this is about Oviedo <laughs> and it's actually a city full of students. They have 10% of population of students. So there's a lot going on in the city and I found it really nice to learn about all of that and enjoy my visit and weekend there. It is 1.20 p.m. I'm here right now where we have just wrapped up the tour. So it was a little over two hours. I did enjoy the tour. What I will say is that as I suspected, because of the area that I'm staying in, I had already seen at least 60% of what we saw. But it was nice to see it again in the daytime and get some more context, historical context, and things of that nature. Um, now I'm going to head to a Citerria that I had seen when we were on the tour earlier. I looked it up on Google, they have good reviews. Get some cider, get some lunch there. And there's like a concert, literally right in front of where I'm staying at like 5.30. So I feel like I'm probably gonna eat, maybe walk around a little bit more, drink a little bit more. Then, you know, I need a nap so that I can come back out for all of the stuff happening for Carnival. But yeah, it's a nice sunny day here in Oviedo. Um, so we're just going to enjoy it. It's not crowded right now, but I feel like it will get crowded, but I'm here for lunch. It's literally 1.30. Um, the lady on the tour, she told me that the specialty here in Asturias is like, uh, onion wrapped fish so that's what I came here for because I saw it on their menu outside and I might get some other things as well but yeah and of course some cider
Okay. This is the onion stuffed with bonito, which is basically kind of like a cod. That is really good. So it's a little after three o'clock. It's three or four here. I am very full <laughs> and sleepy. So it's time for a nap. I'm heading back to the hotel. I really like that place. I could definitely see why they had 4.8 on Google. You all know me, you know, like if I like Spanish food, it's good. Cause I don't like Spanish food. <laughs> Cause it usually doesn't have any flavor or any seasoning, but that had a lot of flavor, a lot of seasoning. And the cider there also was 350 a bottle. So I don't know why they was trying to play me at that other place yesterday talking about 15. Maybe I misheard them and they said five instead of 15, but still, that's still an upcharge. But anyway, I'm gonna go rest, take me a nap, so that by the time the concert in front of my hotel starts, I'll be awake and ready to go. So I'll see y'all in a couple hours. Hey y'all, I am back. It is 5.39 p.m. here, Saturday afternoon. I definitely got woken up by sound check. <laughs> I probably would have slept a little longer, but I heard them getting the bass and the guitars ready. I don't know, like the our tour guide from earlier, our walking tour guide, she said that everything started at 5.30, but Spanish people are never on time. Like I've learned that throughout living here. So that's why I wasn't pressed to be outside at 5.30, but I am showered, freshened up, changed clothes, ready to go because I'm probably not going to come back here to the room officially um, until later on tonight. What I do like about my hotel being situated here is that I can get some drinks and like there's no liquor laws here. You can walk around with a drink or whatever in Spain and no one's gonna say anything. So, you know, I can get a drink, walk around, enjoy the little stuff. And y'all know me, my bladder is this big, but my hotel is right here. I can just come back <laughs> and use the bathroom. So I feel like I can fully enjoy the experience um, here. So I'm just gonna see what's going on outside, honestly, because I don't know. But it looks like there's gonna be a parade or something. I'm just gonna show y'all what it looks like from my balcony, but also full warning. The music that I hear them playing, I'm probably gonna have to speed that up and mute it because as you know, YouTube copyrights music and I do not want a copyright flag on my video. Um, so yeah, I haven't heard any music that's like not going to be copyrighted as of this point. <laughs> so I'll show you all what it looks like outside from the balcony, but I'm about to go and hit the town. Happy Carnival. This doesn't nearly compare to the amount of people I saw from my balcony maybe an hour later, which you'll see further on in the vlog. But I just wanted to see how many people were gathering out there before the, for the parade, before I went out in the streets. And there was a lot going on. People were dressed up. This is a family affair, so there were a lot of kids running around too, just ready for the affair. And I believe they were having like a cooking competition. That's what it looked like because they had on hats. But there's all sorts of different events for Carnival that we all get to enjoy. So I just wanted to walk around and see what they were doing. bird's eye view from my balcony this was the Barbie group I thought they were really cool and this is my favorite group they were actually a wedding cake so I didn't get it on camera but they would make themselves into a circle to complete the whole cake and then separate and dance in little separate slices and the couple you see the couple up there the bride and the groom were up there so this is what a lot of people do for carnival we dress up we have parades we listen to music we have fun dance and just celebrate so I really enjoyed the parade here in Oviedo. 
Okay, it's a little after 7 o'clock, 7.07 here, so I am going to leave the room. That's all I feel like watching for the parade. I just don't want to be cooped up in here, but it was better to watch it from up here rather than down below just because I'm short and I can only see so much. So I'm about to walk around, see if there's a bar I like um, to get a drink, you know, maybe do a little bit of bar hopping before my 9.30 p.m. dinner reservation at the restaurant, which name I have forgotten at this point in time. <laughs> All right. street I don't know if you can tell but it's like a lot of bars a lot of activity going on so I had stopped at that wine bar for a glass of wine this area I had seen when I was coming from the bus station um, so I'm probably about like five seven minute walk away from the bus station here um, so a little bit further away from my hotel but my hotel is only 60 minute walk away from the bus station so that just gives you a kind of What's the word? It gives you kind of area for you to know like the city is a decent size but it's not that big and it is definitely walkable for the parts that you're going to want to visit. Obviously it's very crowded. It's carnival. Lots of people out. Um, but it's fun. So it's like this street and then another street beside it. So as you can see it's very crowded but I'm just going to keep walking around getting a glass of wine here, a glass of wine there. Um, until my dinner reservation in like an hour and a half. No music is playing here, so I can speak out loud, but at another wine bar I had seen, and I did just tell a story. I said that the bus station was like six minutes away. That's a lie, it's across the street. <laughs> I made it out of the old town and I'm more in the city part because the city part is what's close to the bus station. So when I was walking from the bus station yesterday, I saw this wine bar and I wanted to try it out. So now I'm here to try their red wine of the month. We have the red wine of the month, which I believe is from the region of La Rioja. <laughs> I really like it. Buttery, a little chocolatey, a little berry. Good, good red wine. Okay, I just finished um, at the wine bar that I was at. I really liked it, so I'm glad when I had spotted it yesterday, I knew that I had to come back there. Um, it's a 14 minute walk according to Google from here, which like I said, is literally right by the bus station to um, the restaurant I'm going to for dinner. My reservation is at 9.30. It's a little before 9 o'clock right now, so I'm just about to make the walk to make sure I'm there on time. So yeah, I'm hungry, ready for dinner. <laughs> I made it to the restaurant Nastura. I did make a reservation for one so they had my table all ready for me. I did explore the menu beforehand because that's what I do. <laughs> so I basically had already knew what I wanted and had a backup in case the menu wasn't exactly like it was online but thankfully it was. So of course started off with some white wine. However, I didn't realize, but I had tried this wine before. I bought it in the store. So when they brought the bottle, I said, oh, 
<laughs> but here's my here's my entree. I had some gnocchi with clam and mussels, I believe. Out of that's what was out of the shell, the mussels. I found it to be nice and flavorful with the parsley sauce, so that's why it was very green. But I enjoyed the entree and it was filling. And then for dessert, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it was more so like a custard but it had like an apricot flavor, the custard itself. And then you had the berries and the fresh whipped cream, which I really enjoyed. Then after dinner, I was walking back to my hotel and I saw the concert was still in full force. So I went out there to enjoy the concert with everyone and I actually ended up staying out here for an hour. It was really fun, the band did a lot of covers which is why I had to mute it, but it was great to finish off Carnival for the night. Hey y'all, it's literally a little after midnight. <laughs> I'm doing my goodnight video in the bathroom because the concert is still going on. I don't blame them for having a good time, but I didn't want for the video to be copyrighted based off the music that was in the back. Where did I leave off? Dinner? Dinner was good. I liked it. It was filling. And honestly, I was tired. I was going to come back home after dinner, but then when I was walking back home, I saw that the Carnival concert was still happening. So I did stay out there for an hour. I did record a few clips but naturally the music is copyrighted. So all of that has to be muted anyway. So I'm sorry, you don't get to enjoy because they are actually <laughs> a really good band. Um, I would have stayed out there longer, but a lot of people smoke cigarettes out here in Europe and the cigarette smoke was getting in my hair and it was bothering my allergies, which is why I'm sneezing. So I'm taking my allergy medicine. And like I said, I've been outside an hour longer than I was originally anticipating. So that was enough for me. <laughs> I'm about to get ready to get in the bed, pack everything up, because tomorrow I have my bus back to Santander at 12.30 p.m. So not early, so I do get to get some rest. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed my time here in Oviedo, but you know, it's a cute little weekend trip, so it's time to go back to Santander. Hello and good morning. It is Sunday, February 18th. It is 10.45 a.m., so approaching 11 here this morning in Oviedo. I've had a good time here. There were a couple things that I did miss. There was like an Asturian art museum that I didn't get to go to, and then their archaeological museum. Those are the two things that I did miss, but also, like, I don't regret my decision to come back yesterday and take a nap. And, I mean, it was probably closed anyway because it was during lunch siesta time. So it didn't matter, but those were the two things that I did miss. But I still would say like a weekend is sufficient enough to see what you need to see in Oviedo. Um, I had a good time. I would definitely come back. Very historic, cute city, not too big. Clearly the area I'm staying at is like a good area you want to be in if you want to be in the mix of all of the things. So there's actually still action outside. Literally they're having like a 5K. So I'll record it before I go. But as I mentioned yesterday, my bus leaves here at 1230. So I'm about to check out because checkout's at 11. I'm head to a different cafe. I'm trying a different cafe from yesterday. But to get the same thing, toast and tea for breakfast. Um, and then I'll make that walk, like I said, um, that 15-minute walk to the bus station um, to be there nice and early for my 12.30 bus. And we're supposed to get back um, to Santander at 3 p.m. So Oviedo's been nice. <laughs> Clearly it's carnival weekend, so there's a bit more activity probably than normal, but it's still been fun and I've really enjoyed my time here. So it's 11.42 a.m. I finished my breakfast. I'm about to make my um, walk to the bus stop, or the bus station. It should take me about 15 minutes. I'll be there nice and early because the bus leaves at 12.30 and I should get there literally around noon. It is literally 12 noon, so as I called it, made it here <laughs> on time. Um, there was like a screen, you probably can't see it. You can't see it, but there was a screen and there's like six different buses 
leaving at 12.30 and I'm just not sure which one is mine. So I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> this is why we get to places early so we have time to work out the kinks. So I promise by the time y'all see me again, I will be on the right bus. <laughs> It is 12.16 p.m. officially on the bus. This one is straight to Santander, no stops. So if we leave on time, we should get there around three. So I will see y'all in a couple hours. It is 2.40 p.m. As you can see, we made it back here to Santander. We really made it back five minutes ago. I just had to run to the bathroom. <laughs> we are back here in Santander, so it took a little under two and a half hours we were expecting, so that's good. I'm just about to go ahead to get me some lunch really quick, and then I'm going to go back home. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just picking up the lunch because I don't want to eat there. I want to get back to my house, but the ride was smooth, and yeah back here in Santander. So it is now 3.05. I'm officially back home. I picked up my poke bowl for lunch. So I'm about to sit down, catch up on Love is Blind and eat that. But I forgot to mention something before we go. I know on Friday I had said that I packed a backpack for the weekend. I just want to show y'all the backpack really quick if you didn't believe me. Here she is. It's a little messy in the front because I was just digging for my, my house keys in there. And she's a little lopsided but yeah everything for the weekend fit in the book bag it was just a little bit of a tight squeeze so y'all know me y'all know i love a good weekend trip oviedo was no different i had a good time this weekend but i gotta go back to work tomorrow <laughs> so it's time to get back to reality thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>